first one that we did. Um, so the standard deviation is 0 0.1, all right, and then the margin of error is going to associate with the plus or minus sign or within. And that number is 0 0.02. And then the C level is a 90 percentage. So with the C level of 90 percentage, you get the Z star value, which is plus or minus 1.645. Check, 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 write your formula, plug it in, and that's it. You are going to get the number as a whole number. Don't forget to square that. Do not forget to square that. Do not leave the number in square root of N. Okay, if you are forgetting to square that you are writing the answer for square root of n, that would will be wrong. All right, let's do the next problem in the same line. Um, so it's pretty easy. So this is what is discussed in chapter 15. All right, the same way the uh, standard deviation is given to be 0.01, and then you need to find how big the sample should be, how large it should n be with the 95 percentage confidence interval and the margin of error is such a minuscule number. So if I'm going to be putting that in my diagram, the margin of error on either side is going to be such a minuscule number, which is 0 0.001. So this is the negative margin of error. This is the positive margin of error. So on either side from the center, from the center, the margin of error is going to be 0 0.0001. So when margin of error is such a minuscule number, you need to go for a very big sample size. Remember, when the n is uh, big, your margin of error is going to be a smaller number. Or when the margin of error is smaller number, you need to go for a bigger sample size. Such an accurate margin of error you are looking for. So n is going to be a huge sample, so don't panic because of the sample size. Why? Because we are keeping in mind the margin of error is going to be 0 0.0001. Such a minuscule. So when you measure some kind of a delicate measures or delicate variable or delicate element, this is how you are going to be looking for. Okay? especially um, some kind of uh, expensive metal like gold, platinum. So you would be very precise with the three or more decimal places. Yeah. All right. So I guess you can do uh, all these problems based on only one formula. N is Z star sigma over square root of N. You can notice that everywhere I have written the formula. So just have the habit of writing the formula whenever you get a chance. So that way you will remember and you will understand the work that you are doing. All right. So the next one is uh, going to be the problem where the data is given and you are going to find uh, the 99 percentage confidence limits you are also given uh, the sigma value which is 2.4 and the level of uh, significance is given oh sorry the level of confidence level is given which is 99 percentage and that 99 percentage is going to give you the z star value of 2.576 and then the margin of error is going to be plus or minus uh, one day because uh, your unit is given in, or the data is given in a days. Your data is given in days. Your data is given in days. So it's going to be, margin of error is going to be one day. And you are going to plug in the numbers and get the sample size, n is equal to 39. Right. So there is uh, nothing uh, here for me to explain except the formula. So I believe we can do the rest of the problems. Um, so the keywords for margin of error I have highlighted here. It will come with a plus or minus or within is the keyword. Or sometimes it will also be given with, with is the same as twice the margin of error, the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit. That's called as with. So what is the margin of error? With over two is going to be the margin of error.
So either way, you can define your marginal progress. Okay. I guess you guys are okay. That's what I believe, right? There's nothing uh, big math here. Just pick the numbers by reading the problem and then we're going to use the formula to do the math work and you are going to have a sum results. So in terms of my diagram, this is what I mean to say. Margin of error is going to be on either side from the center and then this is going to be the uh, confidence level. So you are going to find how big the sample should be. So this is the lower limit which you do not need and this is the upper limit. Thus, the margin of error is going to give you the cutoff point, which is the lower limit and the upper limit. So it's going to be from the center. Are you all good? Any question? I'm good. I'm following right along with you. Yeah. Uh, all right. Because the next part piece of information is going to be uh, challenging in chapter 14. I guess I need to give you some heads up on chapter 14. Only then I will be able to complete uh, chapter 14 material by tomorrow. And then I'm reserving... Monday, Tuesday for chapter 19, but that we are done, okay? Um, so I forgot to upload. Now I'm noticing that the chapter 19 material is missing, but after the class, I will upload the chapter 19 material on OneNote. So with that, everything is there. So final exam covers chapter 11, and then chapter uh, 13, 14, 15, and 19, and that's about it. Maybe one or two questions from the sample, which is going to be very simple. You need to identify whether it is a simple random sample or systematic or a cluster sample or stratified sample or uh, the systematic sample, that's it. So I'm not good. And basically, I will be checking you, you know, what is a parameter, what is a statistic, where, when the numbers are coming from the population, what is the name for that? When the numbers are coming from the statistic, what is the name given to that? So like that, very basic questions from chapter six, which is the sampling technique. So pretty much this one covers um, chapter uh, 11, 14, 15, and 19. So the final exam is going to be next week, which is going to be a very simple exam, okay? Like your exam one, it's going to be uh, just the multiple choice question, so you will instantly see the answers and um, you will also see your score, okay? And if needed, I will do the curving, otherwise it should be fine, okay? But it's going to be similar to your um, midterm exam that you took uh, two weeks back, all right? Wonderful. So let's go back to our chapter 14 material, which is now the second half of chapter 14 material which is the testing of hypothesis i guess you remember i told you that uh, the chapter 14 is the application of the central limit theorem and that is branched out into two pieces one is going to be the confidence interval the other one is the testing of hypothesis so i gave you the introduction about this part yesterday so now our focus is going to be on the second half, which is the testing of hypothesis. So, so the first half we have seen, and the second half is going to be the testing of hypothesis. All right, let's focus on that. All right, so the testing of hypothesis. All right. So let me discuss the class material or the recipe given to us in testing of hypothesis, and then we will jump into the worksheet where you 